Boom! That's right, guys. You know what this is? This right here, guys, is the infamous OBD-11. <laughs> So what that means guys is that with this piece, I'm gonna be able to modify or hack, some would call, the Mark 7 GTI to do some pretty awesome stuff. I don't know exactly what it does or how in-depth it goes, but I do have an Android device with the app, so I'm gonna be activating this right now. This is about $60 or so on the ShopDap website. Uh, you'll have a link right up here. You will need an internet connection and an Android phone. Unfortunately, they don't have anything for iOS yet, so iPhone users, you're kind of shit out of luck. Let's go ahead and open it up. Pretty basic. Just a little piece that hooks up into the OBD11 port at the bottom. So you may or may not be able to see it. It's kind of dark, but if you look right here, that would be the OBD11 port. So, uh, let's get that in there. Boop. That was easy. Lights up. Cool. Not sure if anybody else has this issue, but as soon as I get in the car, airbags just because of the seats, no big deal. The oil service is what keeps popping up, but look at the mileage. I only have 4,000 miles. So, I don't know, VW said it's supposed to be every 10,000, but looks like it's gonna be 5,000. Excuse the sound, I had to open the window. Kind of hard to see, but we got the app open here, so what we're gonna do is try and connect. So we just push the connect button right here in the middle. Boop. Need to sign in. Let's use Facebook. Seems easier. It wants to access my messages. I don't know why, but sure, go ahead. Connecting. Boom, we're connected. Ha chow. You can't see it. So it said device not found. Um, I mean, it's connected. Maybe I have to... See if it'll connect to the Wi-Fi. What? Later. Oh, okay. Create password. I have to do it outside the window. It's gotta be six digits long, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. 20 minutes later. Scan! Yes, finally. I'm not a fan of things that require internet connection when you're not in your home, but... Oh god, that's barely one of 14. One hour later. So, there's little icons at the bottom, and they're white, and apparently when something's wrong, they turn yellow. So three out of the five right now are yellow. So, the airbag is one, I already knew that one. The seatbelts is another one, which I think it's popping up because they're not connected to a sensor now that I have the new seats. Um, but then it also gave me a check engine light, which didn't even pop up on my dash. So... It's saying I have 10 problems now. This is not looking too good. We'll leave that for a different day though. I have an appointment with Volkswagen tomorrow anyway, which by the way guys, if you didn't know, they're having another recall on parts on the Volkswagen GTIs. I believe it's a uh, fuel pump or service pump. I think it's a service pump. So if you wanna find that out, you can go to the website. I'll put it in the link in the description, but pretty much something is wrong on all these cars. They know about it. They want you to come back in and they'll fix it for you. So be aware of that guys, it is an issue and there is another recall out for these Volkswagen vehicles. Hopefully there isn't too much more wrong with this car, man. <sighs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try, just for shits and giggles, it's called the Urban Joke. It's pretty much um, an app for US model uh, taillights with regular bulbs, not LED. I'll show you guys right now as soon as it's done downloading. So check it out guys, this is pretty much what happens when you set the Urban Joke, I did the V1 with my regular uh, just US standard tail lights. Check it out. It adds a bit of a different flair to your car so not a big deal. I think it was like 10 credits and yes there's a credit system, I'll get into that in a bit. I want to play with it some more so let's get back in the car. Sorry guys, it's getting to that time of year where it's so windy that I'm just gonna have to be right in front of the camera when I'm outside. And this isn't exactly the widest angle lens, so sorry about that. So I downloaded the updated version of the OBD-11, and now I'm gonna try and figure out how to get more credits, because I need more credits 
to get more stuff, um, I guess hacks for the LBD-11. There is a way to code it, I believe, but I'm really not into that kind of stuff or I really have the time or patience to kind of figure it out. So I'm just gonna go with the credits, honestly. It's just easier. If you guys don't know how the credits work and don't really understand it, check out this video right here. Yeah, the professionals know how to do it. So now I'm gonna watch that video. I'll be right back. And then how to pair it with uh, your Android device and everything else. Uh, during that video, we actually got a... You know, I always wondered what those little squares were in the front of the car. They're headlight washers. They're supposed to pop up. Interesting. Wait for it. That's so fancy. I love it. Okay, so this next setting right here, absolutely invaluable because it was bothering me while I was doing this video, trying to get the OBD11 to work. I would open the door and try and get some light, get some air in here while I'm doing this. And this annoying tone when you're ding, we get it, the keys are in, I'm still here. But there's actually something on here that allows you to turn that off. That's awesome. Right here. It is called Open Door Alarm and allows you to turn off, disable warning tone when ignition is on and doors open. Thank you, OBD11. Thank you, Paul, I hated that thing. So as you've seen, there is so much to go over with OBD-11, there's lots of options. Those of you who don't know about the whole bag, COM, VCDS, uh, OBD-11, there are several ways to go about hacking your GTI, Mark 7, whatever it may be. I want just an easy push button solution. The way to go would definitely be OBD-11 because all you have to do is pay, I paid about $36 and it gave me 500 credits, which is more than enough to do everything in there four times over. That's what I ended up doing because I like the quick push button, you just boom, one push of a button and, and it's coded. You don't have to worry about doing anything. That saves a lot of time and energy and work and money and blah, blah, blah. If you're the kind of person who likes to do everything yourself and you wanna go ahead and code it, go for it. But I find OBD11 to be a bit simpler and more user-friendly. Let's go, let's go through what I did real quick. I did the Urban Joke, the ESC off permanently. Um, pretty much what that does is turn the ASR ESC off, which is pretty much a traction control. So you can actually kind of uh, put more power down and the throttle doesn't hold back like it does normally when you're trying to do spirited driving. So that's actually pretty cool that uh, you're not limited in that factor anymore. And I feel with a tune and taking off the rev limiter, it's gonna be a lot more fun. So that's definitely something I recommend doing. 10 credits, quick, easy, boom, done. Bada boom. I also, this was one of my favorites too. I also did the, um, Windows fun function from remote, which you guys might have seen earlier. Oh my God, that is my favorite feature so far. I don't know what it is about it, but just pressing that button and then going up and then down, it's just, it's, it's cool. I like it. Open door alarm, the one I was talking about earlier, pretty much now you can leave the key in the ignition, open the door, do what you gotta do without having the car on, and you won't get that annoying bing, bing, bing. It's the worst sound ever, I, I, I don't know. I don't like it, I turned it off. There's another cool one, it's called the dashboard theme. And what the dashboard theme does is pretty much changes it from that bland blue color background that you have on your little display in the center console and on your dash. And it changes it to a sort of carbon fiber theme that matches your trim, at least the GTI, a bit better. So I like that, that's pretty cool. <coughs> I did in fact turn off my sound actor and I actually prefer it that way. Um, the interior of the cabin is, is quieter almost. It just sounds like there's no fake noise now, pretty much. That's the only way I can kind of explain it. But on the outside, you can actually hear the engine and my blow off valve, the intake, all that a little bit better because you don't have that false noise being sent into the cabin. I like it and I feel with a, a downpipe and an exhaust, it'll be even more enjoyable. Ah, this one. The lock unlock confirmation, the audible confirmation. I hate it when I'm trying to be quiet or silent or it's late at night and I'm pulling up or whatever it may be and I have to lock the car. So I click the button and boop, like just loud ass noise. It's completely unnecessary, wakes the neighbors. It just, I don't like it. So I made it so that I can actually turn it off through the OBD-11 so there is no horn honking every time I lock my car. It's just 
the, the click of the locks, that's it. I prefer that m much better. And just for shits and giggles, I did actually change my startup logo to the R-Line logo. That was just for fun, see what it'd do. But I actually like it, it looks cool, so hey, I'ma leave it. Hate all you want. I also did um, the mirror dip, which is supposedly, whenever you put the car in reverse, it's supposed to have the passenger side mirror dip down so that you can see the ground. So that's pretty much everything I did as of yet. There are a good amount of options on here, but that's it right there, that, that's the end, so. You know, not as many as I would have liked, but I guess, you know, how... It's cool that you can even hack a car in the first place, you know? Good job, guys.